How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Down to Earth with me, Christian Harloff. This is our Monday through Friday UAP News channel. Thanks for being on over here. Thanks for subscribing to the channel and getting your updates where we want to talk about everything that is leading, we think, to people trying to get disclosure about what the hell's going on in the sky, the phenomena. So one of those people, Soul Foundation's own, Dr. Gary Nolan, has been very vocal about a lot of different things, and recently he's been very vocal about Arrow. Now, Arrow was supposed to be the official wing of the government, DOD, that was supposed to find out answers and get answers for the public, right? In the same way that, I guess, Project Blue Book was supposed to do the same thing. And what has been shown and kind of, I think, proven, whether it's Sean Kirkpatrick and other people, that it doesn't seem like they have much interest of giving the public any real information. At least that's the way that it has panned out. Um, and you start to wonder how relevant or how necessary they are in the actual fight. Because it looks like even that thing yesterday that I, it doesn't seem like the Senate trusts them. doesn't seem like anybody really trusts them to give us the real information. And when you look at even from Sean Kirkpatrick's mouth that it was Arrow who pretty much gutted and took out a lot of the stuff that was written for the Schumer and Rounds bill and the reason a lot of the stuff didn't get passed. It was Arrow who wants to run the next hearing. It's Arrow that wants to get involved in stuff and saying certain things about not having certain information out there. So it seems like more and more people don't really want them involved a at all. And Senator Gillibrand, you know, she, Gillibrand has been... I, I don't know what to make of Senator Gillibrand. I, sometimes I, I say, okay, it looks like she's compromised because she's such a heavy advocate of Arrow and the DOD stuff. And then she's co-signing with Schumer and Rounds for the next wave of the of the bill. And you, you assume that Schumer's probably having conversations. But Gary Nolan had a particular thing to say about both Gillibrand's involvement with Arrow and what he thinks should happen to Arrow. Take a look at this clip. Arrow is quite obviously a counterintelligence operation. The whole point, if you looked at people who testified to them, they always require you to sign an NDA. Yeah. Why? Why? Right. right? It's just, it's like a, it's like a honeypot. So they, in my opinion. And they promised to give those people back the transcripts and they never did. So, I mean, the integrity is lost. And I would say to Senator Gillibrand and others who supported Arrow, you're supporting a group that is lying to the people that it's are coming in to testify. So the people who did testify have no faith in the process. And the rest who, like you and I, think that this is just a honeypot, have basically gone around them. So the purpose of the group is moot at this point. Discontinue it. Shut the place down. It's not necessary. I mean, it's a bold statement, but it's not. He's not wrong. Shut it down. What? What's? What's the point of it? Unless you're going to totally revamp it, and it's, it's looked to be, look. This is our. It, it, what the point of it is, in my opinion, is it's for the people who really aren't paying attention. And it's like, well, no, 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 we're the official group. And when we put a statement out, remember that whole thing that when they put that whole uh, report out, that it was like one of the few things that was actually started to get covered by mainstream media was that Arrow said, and when Sean Carpatrick said, well, there's no evidence of anything, and we that's our official thing. And they brought all the journalists that they they invited to it were people, they didn't invite Ross Coldheart to the conference. They didn't invite anybody that actually reports on this stuff. They invited people that they knew would get their message out. So it's like little things like that when you're like, well, when you do stuff like that, you're you're going to lose your validity. And so more and more people are not taking them serious. Nobody wants them to be involved in any of this stuff. They don't want to make, if it, it I, my, this channel, anybody that covers this topic, if you find out that Arrow is running the next hearing, how serious are you going to take it? Well, these are the guests that we've, that these are the witnesses that we found. Because as Gary Nolan said and other people said, nobody wants to talk to them because they don't trust them. They're signing NDAs. They don't feel protected by them. They don't. I mean, David Grush never felt protected by him. Like nobody felt. You don't feel protected by him. And this is supposed to be the official wing that's supposed to help. I mean, the Senate doesn't trust them. So I I think there's a lot of merit in the fact of like if this in the same way that Project Blue Book, it's like if it's not if it's not legit and you're not really trying to find the answers at and 
it's clear as day that you're not trying to find the answers out, then there's only so long that the farce can can stay relevant because it's most people now are talking about them as if, well, what are they really doing? Because it's not like one of these things like, well, wait a minute, hold on. Look what they actually did for trying to get the information out there. They actually got this done. They're the ones that released this. They got this done. They did that. I, I can't think of that. It just seems like they're just trying to cover things up and trying to get it, this. It always it always seems like they're trying to, like, oh, no, 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 have them be quiet about that. Don't say this. Again, as they mentioned in that clip, filing out, uh, filling out NDAs and doing all that, it, it just reeks of uh, dishonesty. And it doesn't, and it it's like almost like the cover up that has been happening or the information to keep it quiet for so long has almost, you know, okay, look, let's say that this company over here that's been doing the silence for so long, hey, get some of them in there, do this, make sure that our, that this isn't, said it certainly feels that way and when you have i mean sean kirkpatrick did not come off well in the last few things when he's sitting in that room and he with brandon fugel and then and and to reiterate by the way he never said that he wasn't in a meeting with him but he but he kind of like oh i think i was i'm not sure if i was and he went back and a few different things and and kind of miss his, his words were all over the place. I'm not sure if I met him. Oh, maybe I met him, but it wasn't about Skinwalker Ranch. It wasn't about this. And and then Fugel said, "Well, no." He's like, "Here, here he is. He's in the meeting with him. Here's the picture, and we talked about these things. There's the slide." Uh, and then he got then then recently he said that he that he didn't see things with the with the one of the UFO videos that were released, and and clearly or not that he didn't see, but he didn't have. Um, certain documents or he didn't fill things out and he's just been caught in a lot of lies so and that was the guy that was running arrow so you know he's not he wasn't trusted and i don't even necessarily think when i ask when i'm asked my opinion on him i think he was told to, to be quiet and do his job and lie as much as he can and if he didn't then there were going to be repercussions i think that's what it was when it comes down to it that's the job that he got himself in but as far as disbanding as far as you know why are they do why are they there? I happen to agree with Doctor Nolan there. I, I'm like, it just doesn't. It, they they just haven't done anything to where I'm like, well, wait, I got to push back on Gary Nolan here. Like, look at what they did. They put this thing out. They got this done. I can't say that though. I wish I could. And you don't want the official, the official uh, agency to be the ones going trying to hold this stuff back. That's just like something out of a movie. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it should be disbanded? Do you think that it's even relevant? Um, and as, and and you know, the other thing we didn't really discuss is the fact that Gillibrand, who, speaking of that hearing in the report that we had, or we did a UAP Tuesday yesterday, and we talked about how Gillibrand is might be the chairwoman of the next hearing that's apparently going to happen in either September or October. Now that wasn't officially said. It was said that there was going to be a chairwoman, and we just assumed it would be Gillibrand who's also mentioned these things. Um, if that's the case, it's going to be very interesting to see how tied into this arrow is. Anyway, that's the story for today, man. It's a, it's a pretty big one. Curious to what you think about it. Should they be disbanded? Should they, will it be? Sure, you could always say, yeah, sure, it should be, but they're going to keep this going as long as they can until they just either ha are forced to help or they just are not relevant anymore. Put your comments in there. Let me know what you think. As always, please subscribe to the channel itself. And do you want to support this channel? And if you can support this channel, consider getting one of our sponsors here today. I'm going to tell you about both of them right now. Let me tell you guys about both Rocket Money and BetterHelp. Here you go, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. This episode of Down to Earth with Christian Harloff is sponsored by BetterHelp. Let me ask you, what are your self-care non-negotiables? What is it, that you never skip a leg day or therapy day because when your schedule is packed with kids activities big work projects and more it's easy to let your priorities slip because even when we know what makes us happy it is hard to make time for it but when you feel like you have no time for yourself non-negotiables like therapy are more important than ever therapy is very important i've been in that position man when i haven't talked and i've let things bottled up and it is not a good thing you got to talk to people and we've had people on our show that have said listen 
we've needed to speak to people. We had an opportunity to, and BetterHelp has been there for a lot of people very close in my life. Because if you don't know, it's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient. It is flexible and it is suited to your schedule. All you have to do is you fill out a brief questionnaire and you get matched with a licensed therapist and you switch therapists anytime, no additional charge. Never skip therapy day with BetterHelp. You got to visit betterhelp.com slash DTE today. You get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash DTE. All right, before you get out of here, I got to tell you a good way to save money. And one way to save money is stop spending money on things you don't need, like apps that you're like, oh, that app's going to be amazing. I'm going to use that app. I'll use it free and I'll never use it ever again. And then they charge it. That's what they do. They charge you every month. Well, that's where Rocket Money comes in. Rocket Money is a great, great service. It's a personal finance app and it finds and cancels unwanted subscriptions. It monitors your spending and it helps lower your bills so you can grow your savings. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. Most Americans think they spend around 62 bucks a month on subscriptions. Yeah, right. The real number is close to 300. That is literally thousands of dollars a year, half of which probably have been forgotten about. So that is why I use Rocket Money and I absolutely love them. Stop wasting money on things you don't even use. Cancel unwanted subscriptions today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash DTE. That's rocketmoney.com slash DTE. One more time, rocketmoney.com slash DTE. DTE.